So at long last, we finally have a new key visual for the final ever Blu-ray of Attack on Titan. Yo, what's good as a boy do the views? And it has been almost four months at least since the final episode of Attack on Titan premiered. And what a time it was when that episode came out. Director Yuchiro Hayashi and his team of animators at MAPA beautifully animating and crafting this very fascinating ending of Attack on Titan. We already had the release date and we already had the price tag of the Blu-ray. It being a whopping $110. Yikes! That's awfully a lot for two episodes. That's more or less the same as buying 11 different Barbie Blu-rays. But mate, this new cover art is worth the price tag. It's this really grotesque art art of what appears to be the ancient titans that appeared in the final episode. Although one of the designs does look awfully similar to Eren's attack titan, these titans appear to be fused with what appears to be Eren Jaeger's founding titan ribcage design. And kneeling on top of this grotesque monster, we have what appears to be Eren Jaeger in his iconic trench coat looking up into the sky. Just like with the first two Blu-ray covers of the final season, this one is entirely grayscaled and it awfully resembles the My War opening song. To me, the way I see it, it looks like a slight reverse of Eren Yeager's freedom, where Eren Yeager is in the clouds, more or less on top of his titan, with his arms spread out, flying like an eagle, saying this is freedom. But in this version, you just see Eren looking honestly defeated and down in the dumps. I guess it's to try and correlate to the fact that Eren was never truly free, he's a slave to freedom. And I do suppose the grey colour palette does more or less resemble the morally grey character that is Eren Jaeger. Yes, this boy did do it for his friends. He did have to do what he had to do to protect the ones he loved, but at the cost of billions of lives being trampled on. I suppose it could also be interpreted as the death of the Titan curse. The way it looks like a graveyard with all these dead looking Titans all fused together. It's a weird, grotesque way of portraying the paths and how all Eldians are connected with the way all the Titans are merged together. According to the information down below on the official website, the original case was drawn by director Yuchiro Hayashi and as well as this design you also get a digipack drawn by character designer Tomohiro Kishi. Now I am not 100% sure which of these images represent the digipack but right next to the blu-ray cover you do see a booklet where you get free brand new official illustrations of what appears to be Armin and the scouts. In the final episode, Mikasa looking up at the parasitic Jaeger, as well as Gabby and Falco wheeling Levi Ackerman with Anyankapan and Yelena. It looks like this is a sort of recreation of that one panel that got cut out from the manga into the anime of Falco pushing Levi Ackerman. The Blu-ray also comes with a select storyboard book, which shows key moments from both specials in rough storyboard sketches, as well as a Chibli comic book and a staff gallery of all the key art promotional images that were displayed before the finale. It also contains a non-credit theme song video, which I am guessing is going to contain all of the opening and ending songs without the credits playing over them. And depending on which website you order these Blu-rays from, you get special little key cards and mini posters of characters. I'm buying this on Amazon Japan, so this is what I'll be getting, possibly. And yeah, those are all the key informations regarding the Blu-ray. And as well as all that, of all the days this Blu-ray could have been released on, it releases on the same day Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Episodes 15, 16 and Episode 17, which is March 20th. So I'll be having both Blu-rays on this day when they both arrive in the UK. It's going to be a fun day breaking down these videos and seeing what changes MAPA made to these episodes. Tell me in the comments down below what do you guys think of these Blu-ray details. Are you excited for the Blu-rays of both AOT and JJK? Do you think Studio MAPA have made any changes to both? of these Blu-rays tell me, like for more AOT and JJK videos, but thank you for watching and as always a boy do the view sign out.